Guys, I'm at Tony and Mark's, my local supermarket, and I really wanted to take you guys through a weekly shop so you could have a look at the kinds of things that I eat in a week. One of the reasons why I love Tony and Mark's, actually probably my favorite reason about them, is that they go to market every single day. So at two o'clock every morning, they go to the market and they replenish their produce so it's fresh every single day actually probably my biggest staple ever, bananas. I reckon we go through like five to 10 bananas a day. Um, if I have any that we don't get through, I'll chuck them in the freezer and then pop them in smoothies. Um, if James is being a good boy, I'll make him a banana cake. Um, but they rarely ever get to the point where they go off anyway because we consume them so frequently. I have to have a berry in every single shop. I probably eat less berries uh, in winter, but um, I really like to include them still on a weekly basis. Avocados, um, can't go a week without them. This is the other thing that goes really, really, really quickly in our house. Um, I'll get a couple of soft ones and then a couple of hard ones so that they last, you know, a good week or so. Uh, we use avocados generally at dinner time for good fats or if we are wanting a treat, we'll make some avocado mousse. If you guys have never made it before, basically one serving is half an avocado, a full banana, teaspoon, tablespoon of cacao, teaspoon, tablespoon of honey, scoop of protein and blender and you've got yourself a chocolate mousse. I make this amazing peanut sauce and I um, put limes in it, but limes are these great. I need a reason to buy it, otherwise they just end up going off. So I'm gonna get one lime because I really wanna make that peanut sauce. I like being experimental in the kitchen. I'm definitely one of those people that says, I have lemon water every morning. Don't have it every morning, but I really try to. If I, I'm setting my morning routine up well, I'll have um, half a lemon in the morning. If I'm feeling super brave, I'll pop some apple cider vinegar and some uh, Himalayan pink salt in there. So lemon's another staple to a weekly shop. I'll generally get maybe four. Um, James and I will basically share a lemon a day and then just replenish them when we need to. I'm thinking about adding some more apples to my diet because I'm trying to have some green smoothies. Sour foods are also a great addition to add to your diet, so if you're going to choose an apple, um, make sure that you're including green ones in your diet as well. don't want to damage my celery. Another green smoothie addition. I try and find vegetables that have like not a very strong taste so you can add lots of them to get um, more volume into your smoothies without feeling like you are just basically blending vegetables, which you are doing. Um, but celery has a very neutral taste so it's an easy thing to add to green smoothies. I need to show you guys potatoes in the air fryer because it has changed my life. Um, you get the pretty much the same taste as you would with like fries that you buy from like a fish and chip shop. Um, with like minimal amounts of oil and obviously homemade so a whole lot better for you and super delicious So if I'm looking at my um, Shopping cart right now another thing that I really try to do is visually get foods that are a range of different colors Different colored foods are going to have uh, different properties and are going to have different things that um, are beneficial for your body So right now I currently don't have anything orange and so my orange vegetable of choice is going to be pumpkin uh, it's a good starchy vegetable, it doesn't have too many carbs in there. If you are tracking your macros and you're a little lower on the carb side, that can add a lot of volume to your food. So many people say that they don't like the taste of kale. If you like kind of lather it in olive oil, add a little bit of salt and put it into the pan, that really strong kale taste goes away and you actually get a really nice kind of chip, salty flavour. It's another way that I really beef up to the vegetables that I'm having in my dinner. Let's add that in. guys favorite recipe right now um, coconut milk kaffir lime leaves and rice so it's like a coconut milk kaffir lime leaf rice it makes plain rice taste amazing my favorite vegetable that tastes like nothing that's really good for beefing up meals cauliflower really versatile as well like you can blend it and turn it into like a fake potato mash you can uh, pulverize it turn into a fake rice I love chopping it up into really small bits and just using it to beef up, beef up like pasta meals. Um, put a little bit of olive oil on it and it's actually got really quite a nice taste. So I never miss my cauliflower in a shop. But a pain to cut up. But I have uh, two mini walking vacuum cleaners called Pippi and Mr. Nelson so they clean up for me. A 
another good veggie to go in green smoothies because it tastes like a lot. Um, it's mostly water, but obviously has a lot of uh, benefits in it. So chuck those in your smoothies. Colours. If you're looking for colours in your diet, all the varieties of capsicum. Cover your bases, or some of your bases. You can also tell a supermarket is really good quality when they make a lot of their things in-house. So these guys at Tony and Mark's have got a lot of their own products, like this Nutella. And you obviously know you're going to be getting better quality because it's been made here, not processed in a massive factory. And I can guarantee if I look at the ingredients, amazing. And I really want to try this because it's Nutella. Also, if you sort of butter. Got some more stuff? Yeah, I just thought take these. Yeah, cool. But well, let me know what you think. Yeah, well, so is this it's something to top on your salad? Yeah, salad top. Amazing. So cool. Yeah. So if you're looking at ways to spice up your salads and get your veggies in, adding things like this make it taste so much better. And quality. Paleo sprout is gluten free, seaweed vegan, and Asian inspired. I'm so excited to try this. What is I'm it? Like all about spicing up your meals because I think so many people get in this weird frame of mind where they feel like if they have to eat vegetables it's just boiled and plain and boring. Stuff like this is an awesome way to help you feel like you're getting a really tasty meal but you're still making sure that you're getting in that quality so I'm really excited. So when we're getting eggs obviously we are going to look for free range or cage free. Another thing to look for is hens per hectare. So you're obviously wanting to find the one that has the least hens per hectare as you can. It means that the the hens are going to have a little bit of a better life because they've obviously got more space to roam. Is that a joke? 14 chicks per hectare. Okay. 14? Is that the best one? I used to work in a supermarket and I would always check eggs before I had left with them. Do not leave without checking eggs. Although a place like this, you're not going to have crap eggs. So when you're looking at seasonings, have a look at the ingredients. Make sure that there's not any added sugar in there and there's um, a small amount of salt. Hopefully it's like a sea salt or a Himalayan salt um, and then no preservatives or anything like that. This, this brand is a really good quality one and it tastes amazing. Also, they have a cafe next door so you can sip a coffee while you shop. I really want to try this. Haven't tried it yet. They've just got it in. These have eight calories per serve. So an awesome addition to your dinner without blowing out of your calories and really good ingredients. Lemon. Sourdough. The reason that I buy sourdough is because when you buy conventional bread, you can almost expect that it's been made over a shorter period of time than bread should be made over. So when it's sourdough, it means it's been fermented for a long period of time, which gives the bread some time to break down some of the ingredients, some of the gluten, so it's easier to absorb by the body. So if you do want to include a bread, just look for sourdough, it's going to be much easier in your stomach. <laughs> I'm getting pointed at by my cameraman who wants to try some spelt rolls. So I haven't tried these ones before, but they are sourdough, so it's going in my basket. Yeah. Now you have your like favorite foods, and there are some supermarkets that don't stock them. I love Tony and Mark's because I feel like all of the healthy treats that I look for are here. So if I was to go to like a normal supermarket, sure I could find a pack of chips, sure I could find chocolate, but I have like certain brands that I really love that I know are gonna be better for me. And so places like Tony and Mark's, I know stock all of those, so I can get everything that I need from my quality produce, quality meats, but then also my delicious healthy snacks. This is one of my favorites. See, like, this is what I'm talking about, like the quality stuff, the foods that we still love eating. Like I love aioli, but to find a quality dairy-free, gluten-free and soy-free mayonnaise is really difficult. So I know that when I come to places like this, I'm gonna have basically a range of different options where I can still get the food that I love, and not have to worry about the quality. I mentioned before about how they produce a lot of their own stuff. 
Uh, another thing that I really love getting from here is their pre-marinated chicken breast. So if you're in the time poor basket like I am, they have an awesome range of things that have basically already been prepared for you, but it's quality. So it's not like you go into the freezer section where you get the um, conventional foods where you heat them up and they've got a lot of preservatives in them. Like this, for example, is fresh carved chicken breast. No preservatives, nitrates, artificial colors, or flavors. So basically you've got your chicken breast already for you. If you're a fan of mac and cheese, plant-based, gluten-free, no nuts or soy, dairy-free as well, vegan, uh, and the ingredients are amazing. Sorry. Found some more stuff. Yeah, these as well. Yep. I've never seen them before. No. No. What yeah. are they? Uh, you know how cyclists have the, those yes. gels? It's like a natural one. Nice. It's going to be awesome for my try training. One side has peanut butter and the other side has a blueberry spread. So it's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but in a pocket. Amazing. Cool. That's awesome. so good. Yeah. Definitely going to try that. Oh yeah. I, I feel like there's always something new here. There's always different things to try. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> There's a bunch of things that you can only find at Tony and Mark's. Hemp protein bar, that's one of them. This is another product that um, Tony and Mark's is the only provider of. A uh, fudgy peanut butter cacao bar. And so it's just a little snack. Um, again, it's something that has really quality ingredients. Basically all nuts, seeds, salt, sweetened with stevia. Um, so a good way to get in your micros if you are looking for a snack, micronutrients. And I can't tell you how much I love these. If you've never tried this bar, Maybe don't because you'll probably fall in love with it. It kind of tastes like Nutella, um, but it's sweetened with organic cane sugar. And sugar is still sugar. I'm not saying that, you know, you should eat one of these a day, but when you're looking at uh, having some treats, trying to get quality ingredients, if you can, organic is going to be a lot better than processed and not organic. So this one's definitely going in the basket. Hannah chocolate is one of my favorite chocolates, really good quality um, and very affordable here. I find that sometimes uh, it can be really expensive, so it's not realistic to get a lot, but here I always find that the price is really, really good. I think I've got everything now, so I'm gonna go check out.